Where do I begin from? Growing up there, you can't dream of becoming a dancer, really. Simply because there were no examples of people around me who were dancers and who could earn a living out of it. Yet people always danced around me. When you're interested in the history of a country like Congo, one thing that you realize very soon is that because as a nation the country was only invented in the 19th century, you cannot understand the history of a people within such a short period of time. It's like 130 years of history. You can't understand because it takes centuries to begin to understand the evolution of a people. Discovering dance, I came to realize that through dance, I could access a much, much older archive. Because genetically, there are things in my body that connect me to generations from thousands of years ago. It's a violent history. It's, it's terrible. It's tragic. Because we made this work in Congo. And it was first performed there. These people to whom we were telling this story, they live through this every day. And at some point, you don't want to depress them too much. You want to remind them of all this chaos, all this. But at the same time, you don't want them to walk out of there so depressed that they go and kill themselves. So if it gets too heavy, stop. Let's go, have a drink. challenge then is trying to make some poetry out of it because I really hope that I manage even for a brief moment with all this to make some poetry you know um, yeah Saint titre was an invitation by German choreographer Raymond Hoge and so I can say that Raymond built the house and then he invited me to live in that house and he didn't tell me how to live in the house but somehow he explained to me how his house works when I reflect on history, I create a big scream. On the other hand, when Raymond reflects on history, he creates a lot of silence. That's on titre. It's this delicate, fragile moment, and yet, in this fragility, hopefully we can find strength you know, to continue, to stand in front of people. And just, yeah. The world is collapsing, but the body in, in its fragility is here. We are here. And that already can be a very strong thing.